Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So sorry I haven't been uploading much lately. I have been quite poorly and I'm just coming out of it now. Um, that's probably why I sound a little bit different. But if I don't do this intro, I will never get this video out there. And this was filmed probably about two weeks ago. I can't even remember, but it's still relevant. It's pretty much what we do every week, change up the meals a little bit, but it is a budget food shop for a family of six. So if that's what you like, then make sure to continue watching and I do a little hack at the end for you all as well. I hope you like it. This time we did the food shop in Aldi and we tend to do it in Aldi a little, but like I said, this food shop was in Aldi and yeah, I think we do super well with our meal planning, our budgeting for a family of six and we do try and change up the meals. So I'm going to do an autumn food shop haul for you very soon. So make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell to make sure you can see when I upload a new video. I usually upload one video a week, but I can do the odd video in between as well, just obviously in between family life and work life, which is really hard to commit anymore, but I do try and get more than one. But if you click that notification bell, you will be notified and obviously see more new videos that I post. So I won't ramble on anymore and we'll get straight into it. I hope you enjoy our budget food shop haul from Aldi. <gasps> Thank you, my little helper. You're getting all the food out the bag. Thank you. Such a big girl helping mummy. Thank you. Thank you. You did this in the shop too, in the trolley. Thank you. Some more. Thank you. And your toothpaste, lovely. Is that everything? Hello. Oh, one more thing. That's Lily's smoked ham. Hello. Is that all gone? Is it all gone now? Bye. <laughs> Long time since I've done a food shop haul. It's Aldi again. Featuring baby Fudgy Bear. Fudgy! <laughs> this is a weekly food shop for a family of six. I've already got Fudgy Bear's dog food, so that's not included in this. And dinner tonight is steak, which is not included in this as well. But this will last us a week. But let me get straight into it so you can see what meals and what food we've bought for this week. So starting off here with the fresh corn and a carb. I love this. I think it was like 36p each. So fab value and super, super nice. I've got the 10% broccoli. Love, love this. I've got some broccoli, some grapes, some jazz apples, green apples. Kiwis is a new one of my girls' favourites, so they absolutely love this. Got standard carrots. We've got sweet potatoes, Delilah's favourite, which we haven't had for a while, so hopefully she still likes them. Picked up some flat peaches because they look really yummy, and Delilah actually hasn't tried peaches yet, so that would be nice. David picked up a treat for him. He's trying not to drink as much, so he's just got one. He has got two in the fridge still as well. Three whole milks. I've forgotten to get my red milk, because I'm back on, well, kind of back doing healthy eating, trying to wean back into it, because I've been really bad and put so much weight on. Um, we've got some chocolate fudge flavored milk. This is so nice. Obviously, well, mainly for the kids, but I might have a glass before my diet starts Monday. Got some lovely dairy squirty cream. And then we've got some puddings over here. So we've got my favourite, favourite protein yogurts ever off from Aldi. Passion fruit ones, vanilla and raspberry are my ultimate favourites. Delilah also really loves these as well over her yogurt. So 
she usually shares one with me got some snacks for delilah these are for the fridge we've got the real milk in them chocolate and the strawberry she loves these for puddings the girls have got these big toffee desserts chocolate and cream and a vanilla one David's favourite ice cream. I love ice cream, but I'm quite snobby with ice cream and I only like Ben and Jerry's and Hagen Dars, really. Um, or mint chop chip. Love mint chop chip. So this is his ultimate favourite. So he pretty much eats this all to himself if he lets the girls have some. He may do. He's got some yogurts for him and Layla because Layla loves these as well. These active yogurts. So got raspberry, well, strawberry, which is raspberry and strawberry. And then the frozen section, we've got some, we've got quite a lot of frozen stuff at the minute, so I've just picked up some home style chips, skin on fries chips, which are really lovely as well, and quick Yorkshire puddings for our roast dinner. We've got loads of cereals, so just picked up some choc pillows, because Layla requested them, and she also requested these dip it for school, or for snack, she loves them. Lexi chose the pepper army. Yeah, so Lexi is now in high school and is having three days sandwiches and two days school dinners. So she wanted quite a nice pat lunch, so she's picked up some yummy bits for her. We've got some apple juice and two of these um, orange and pineapple squashes. My favourite's Bimto, which I've already got. Um, and Lily's as well, she loves Bimto. Lexi's picked up some sweeties for them to share tonight, the rhubarb and custard squashies. They look lovely. I'm not a sweetie fan, but they do look nice and I do like the drumstick squashies. David got some chicken tikka masala for work. We've got a lovely beef joint for our roast dinner. We've got two lots of these Chinese pork loin steaks and 10 chicken chipolatas. I've not tried these before. I've never had chicken um, sausages before, so... This will be interesting. We've also got some chicken steaks there for the girls tonight with chips. We've got some chili beef burgers. They are so delicious. If you haven't tried these yet, definitely try them. Lovely beef burgers as well with a kick of like a spice. Really, really yummy. And then got some like sandwich fillers. Lily really wanted this smoked Brunswick ham for butties for school. I've got sweet chilli chicken slices for work. And then we've got some turkey trimmings because it's quite good um, price for the amount, to be honest. So that's why we thought we'd try them. Get us in the mood for Christmas. Because you know it's September now. Um, <laughs> got some goodies over here. So we've got the cookies and cream, basically Oreos, groovy biscuits, takeaway biscuits, the Titans, which are the Mars bars. Choco Breaks, Kit Kats, Jaffa Cakes, Digestives that I've already been eating in the car. We've got these lovely roast chicken and thyme crisps. If you know what Sensation Crisps are, these are the ultimate Jeep. I don't think they're loads cheaper, but they're really, really yummy and taste exactly the same. They do a sweet chilli one as well, which is my favourite in Sensations, but the sweet chilli version of these I, I don't recommend, they're not as nice, but these ones are delicious. Picked up some vanilla Weetabix um, on the go, like drinks, milkshakes for Lexi for school, because she's not a big breakfast person, so I thought that'd be quite good for when she's on um, for a snack at school, or with a lunch, or for before school. Um, got my cinnamon bagels, love these, but I'm not gonna lie, these are definitely not as nice as the, the the main brand, the New York ones, but I was in Aldi and I just picked them up. They are nice, just not as nice, but I do love a bagel. I've got my soft wholemeal baps for work. Love um, wholemeal baps. And we've got some brioche burger buns for the burgers. Absolutely love these as well. And the girls do potato cakes for breakfast. Definitely don't fill you up, but they're super tasty, especially with like real butter. Got some scotch pancakes, because you can't beat a little breakfast pancake or snack. Um, and I wanted Delilah to try these, because she hasn't tried these pancakes. I've made a cracks, obviously, but I thought I'd pick them up for her as well. Got to have some noodles coming so much handy for lunches, um, for the girls and for Delilah. We've got loads in the cupboard, so just, just to keep stacking up. Corned beef for butties or corned beef hash, but 
I don't know why I said it can't be posh because no one likes that apart from me. So for butties, I think David wants them for work. Got some baked beans, more rolls for David because he likes the white rolls. He doesn't like wholemeal bats. So he's got the white rolls for him with the corned beef. Got some pasta and tomato and chilli sauce for the pasta. This is delicious. It's got a little kick of spice. I don't like it too spicy, so this is just right, just like the burgers. And then we've got the big Welsh bacon potatoes and wonky potatoes for the roast. These are for Jacket Spud. I will go through the meal plan in a minute. We're nearly coming to the end. We've got 15 eggs because we go through eggs like there's no tomorrow. We've picked up some Pringles and snack rights. That one's for Lexi because she loves the sour cream and onion. This one's for Lily because she loves barbecue. And Layla loves salt and vinegar and they didn't have salt and vinegar ones in the Pringles. So we got the snack right ones. So we've got one each to snack on over the weekend because they love them. Got the multi-pack of snack right crisps just like Walker's. And then last but not least, picked up some Colgate toothpaste for Delilah. She hasn't tried this one. Um, she's just getting used to brushing her teeth. It's been a bit of a battle, to be honest. So I'm hoping with it being natural fruit flavour, she might like it better. We shall see. I will let you know. And then Lexi decided to put these in the trolley because apparently she needs them for high school. So she's got some Sharpie marker pens as well. So that is everything. I think we did really well considering the amount of food we've got for the price. It is slightly getting a little bit dearer, but weeks do vary. This week has been, I'd say, still a budget week, but I'd say slightly on the higher side. So all of this cost 90 pounds, and that will last us a week. So for tonight, we are having these two beef rump steaks and these delicious triple cooked beef dripping chips that is for tonight um for me and david they were both from lidl and aren't included in this food shop and can't have that without our creamy pepper sauce absolutely love this one of my favorite meals that was already bought from the last week so we're gonna have that the girls are gonna have the four chicken steaks in batter and and the chips for tea tonight Whilst Delilah is having some tortelloni, which, tortelloni, tortellini, um, beef and pork tortellini, which we got from Lidl, and this wasn't included either, but that's what she's having tonight. We're having a takeaway tomorrow before I start my healthy eating, um, to get it out of the way. So Monday, we're going to be having these Chinese style pork loin steaks with rice, which I've already got the rice, and broccoli. Tuesday we have some jacket potatoes with cheese, which we've already got, and beans. Wednesday we're having chilli and rice, which I've already got, so I'm not going to show you that. The girls will probably have these chicken chipolatas with mash and gravy or beans when we have chilli, because they don't all like the chilli con carne that we're going to have this week. Thursday we're going to have a delicious beef roast dinner. The veg, possible sweet potatoes for Delilah, and we've already got the gravy. Friday, we're going to have some quick chilli beef burgers because we're heading off for a weekend of camping. And then the rest, obviously, is for lunches, snacks, that kind of stuff. So, yeah, £90 from Aldi. We're going to be doing a comparison to a Tesco online food shop so make sure you stick around subscribe and hit that notification bell to see how we can compare to tesco and whether we spent more or less and got the same amount just two quick hacks for you guys i take the contents out of the packaging put them in a plastic bag and cut out the instructions keep them aside and i've still got the instructions so i know what to do and it provides more space in the freezer Quick second hack for you guys, you don't need any fancy ties, fancy clips, simply cut the top of the plastic bags off, give it a twist and just simply tie it around the bag to keep it all closed and contained and voila, there's your two simple hacks. So thank you for watching and I'll see you all soon.